I think that in many ways, uh, the public today, the broad public, is sort of terrified of what's going on with the world. It's like we're all in a lab and we don't really understand it. On the other hand, if you're an innovator today, you could, there's no better time to be alive. There's like this need and, and openness to innovation. And so it's important, I think, to invite the public into the true creative process and not expose them to simply the picture on the wall. I am a faculty member at Harvard University, but I live in Paris most of the time, and I uh, founded the Laboratoire, which is where we are. We opened it in 2007. It's an art and a design center where we do experiments at Frontiers of Science. And it began biotech, which was my background, and then uh, partly because where I was at Harvard, partly because of my own background, I began to think more broadly, include artists and architects and other kinds of people. It was important to me that the language language of that lab be not scientific but artistic and that the dialogue with the public be not peer-reviewed publication but actually um, exhibition. I, I think that there is this inc incredible commonality between the um, scientific mind and the artistic mind, particularly at these frontiers. You'll see electronic stuff, you'll see a lot of food stuff, and we do have this food lab and we'll soon open a wiki bar. WikiCell Designs is comprised completely of natural materials. Chocolate ice cream with a coconut skin, chocolate chip cookie dough, and it's enveloped in a skin. And it may be edible, like the orange peel, or it may just be something you can toss into nature. And then we have a store called the Lab Store, where ideas that come out of exhibition that seem to have some value, it could be a humanitarian value or a commercial value, or just we need to pursue it, we quickly prototype we do that off-site, uh, and then we present limited edition products. The Wif, breathable chocolate, the biodegradable inhalers, you, you open it like that, and then you put this in your mouth. Green tea whiffs, or vitamin D and resveratrol, the Aeroshot Energy, a little puff. If you take all of it, you've got the caffeine of a, of a Red Bull. One of the things that we uh, use is nebulization. So when I developed uh, the WIF, I started to think, well, instead of delivering drugs by nebulization to the lungs, maybe we could deliver food by sipping to the mouth. And what happens is when you tip it to the side, it creates a, uh, a cloud. It takes a special straw that we've designed. I can sip my port wine cloud. There's such specialization in our institutions that um, we have a hard time creating environments where anything goes. The institutional model of the 19th and 20th century is really not working. So I think these kinds of spaces are increasingly happening.